Who are you? I asked. And where are Peter and Wendy? What is this place? You're in the underworld, he said. My name is Hades. You'll be staying here for a while. The underworld? That was an entirely different realm. A dark one. Even Peter couldn't go very far past its gate without special magic. It was the realm of the dead, and Hades... Hades was the god of the dead. Am I dead? I gasped. Did the fairy wine kill me? Did Wendy poison me? Gods, no, said Hades, his brow crinkling. Why would you think that? No reason. I didn't feel like telling him about my other adopted mother, Melanie, and how she'd betrayed all of us lost kids. The pain of it was still raw in my heart. Until she'd abandoned us, I'd never experienced such painful emotions, and I never wanted to feel them again. Hades took a few steps toward me. Pan and Wendy sent you here for your protection. That's ridiculous. Why would I need someone else's protection? I gave him my fiercest glare. You're lying. I thought there was something odd about you. Did you steal me from the party and bring me here? He snorted. <laughs> of course not. It's all right if you did, I said, gripping my walking stick so hard my fingers hurt. I promise I won't be mad. We can still be friends if you just take me home. I can't, he repeated. Peter gave you into my care. Something was boiling and burning inside me, a desperate, helpless emotion stronger than I'd ever felt before. This wasn't some lost kid stole my favorite blanket anger. This was raw, bleeding, panicked fury. You're lying, I hissed at him in a tone I'd never used with anyone. My adult voice was different, smoother and silkier, but I could also make it husky and harsh, and I used that tone with Hades. You will take me home, right now. I'm not lying. His voice was laced with frustration. Look, Pen wrote you a letter explaining everything. And where is it? He sucked his lips and popped them out again. A sheepish look crossed his face. I lost it. It fell out of my pocket while we were flying through the in-between. Convenient, I spat. Now I know you're lying. You've stolen me away, kidnapped me just like Captain Hook used to do to kids. You're evil like him, and evil men have to be destroyed. He gave a short, sharp laugh, as if he couldn't believe what he was hearing. I decided to try reason one last time. <laughs>